Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. In this one, I'm going to be discussing how you can unlock the brand new dual Kodaki melee weapon here in Modern Warfare Season 5. So of course guys, welcome back to a brand new Modern Warfare video here on the channel. I'm pretty sure that most of you guys watching this video are well aware that the dual Kodaki melee DLC weapon did end up coming to Modern Warfare with Season 5. Now similar to the Kali Stakes, how you unlock this particular DLC weapon is not in the Season 5 Battle Pass and that is you unlock it via challenge. So what I am going to be doing in today's video is is discussing how you can unlock this brand new melee DLC weapon the absolute fastest. So with that said, if you guys are going to want to enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like on it down below. Also, also make sure to subscribe for more Modern Warfare Season 5 content. Also, at the end of today's video, I do have a quick announcement, so make sure you watch this video all the way through so that way you guys will find out. So with all that said, let's actually dive right into the commentary. Now the challenge that you need to complete to unlock this DLC weapon states, using the knife get 3 kills while behind the enemy in 15 different matches. Which in layman's terms, this challenge states that you need to get three backstabber medals when you are going to be using the combat knife. So to actually make this challenge go by a lot quicker, you have to design a class setup for it. And that is indeed the class setup that is on your screen right now. So quickly going over it, of course, my primary weapon, I will be using the standard variation of the riot shield. And the reason why you are going to be using the riot shield, and that is, of course, as the challenge states, you need to use a knife and you need to get melee kills. And the riot shield is extremely useful because quite frankly, you don't want to get stabbed in the back when you're trying to go for backstabber kills. So that's how come we will be using the riot shield. For my secondary weapon, I will be using the combat knife because as the challenge states, you need to get kills when using the knife. And I'm also going to be using my old sins blueprint for it. For my perk setup, I will be using quick fix, ghost, as well as tracker. Now going a little bit more in depth, the quick fix perk is going to be helping us with our health regeneration, which is extremely useful. Ghost is going to keep us off the mini map, as well as tracker is going to show us where the enemies have been, which is extremely useful when it comes to completing this challenge. For my lethal, I will be using the C4. However, the lethal for this particular class setup isn't too important because every single lethal does end up getting kills so when it comes to your lethal really just use whatever one you're the most comfortable with and at least for myself that's the c4 now for my tactical i will be using the smoke grenade which here's the deal while completing this challenge i've tried out a multitude of different tacticals and the main two that i used was either the flash grenade or the smoke grenade now with the smoke grenade you can throw it down where enemies tend to be then you can run into the smoke with your riot shield and your combat knife and very easily get the backstabber kills alternatively you guys could use the flash grenade which of course is going to be flashing and stunning your opponent so what you can do is throw down the flash grenade, of course flash the enemy so that way they won't see you coming, and then you can get the backstabber kill. However, from my own experience, the smoke grenade is a little bit more reliable because of course the flash grenade is very useful, but in many circumstances, you are going to be getting your kills hijacked by your teammates. So it really just depends on you if you want to use either the flash grenade or the smoke grenade, they both have their own benefits. So now that we got the class up out of the way, let's actually talk a little bit about strategy. Now as the challenge states, you need to get three backstabber medals, and naturally the easiest way to get backstabber kills is on smaller maps and interestingly enough with modern warfare for this particular weekend the multiplayer of the game did end up going free to play from august 7th through the 12th alongside double xp double weapon xp as well as double tier progression and interestingly enough there is a brand new playlist in the game for the free multiplayer weekend which is a mosh pit which features the maps shoot house petrov oil rig shipment cheshire park as well as Saldel harbor and as i just mentioned the main two very important maps that are free to play is shipment as well as shoot house so personally I would recommend hopping into this playlist and deliberately searching for shipment as well as shoot house to complete this challenge. And alongside playing these smaller maps in this game, you're also going to want to play certain game modes, for example, domination and hardpoint, which are extremely useful because of course in those modes, there are fixed areas on the map where enemies are going to go and they're going to try to capture objectives and you can exploit that. For example, let's say you have the B flag on domination and the enemies are naturally trying to capture that flag. And what you can do is throw your smoke grenade down, wait for enemies to hop on the objective and then get all the back backstabber kills and you can do this multiple times so that way you can get the three backstabber kills that you need to do in a single match. And also while completing this challenge there are a couple other things I did and that is for one flanking which makes getting backstabber kills a lot easier. You can just run to the other side of the map, make sure no one sees you, wait for enemies to run by and then stab them in the back. And then another strategy which incorporates the riot shield and that is sitting in certain positions where enemies tend to run by and hiding with the riot shield and then waiting for the enemies to run by and then stabbing them in the back. Now this strategy is pretty good however depending on the map you will sometimes get your kills hijacked by teammates which is never fun but other than that it is a pretty effective strategy. I actually tested this however if you do end up getting your three backstabber kills and then you leave the match the challenge will still count so if you really want to get this done very quickly and as you hop into a match of a small map playlist you get your three backstabber kills and then you quit the match and then you rinse and repeat that 15 times and then you are going to be getting the new DLC weapon. So yeah guys that's going to effectively wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to leave a like on it down below as well as make sure to subscribe 
subscribe and turn on post notifications so that way you guys will not miss a new upload from me. Now, as I mentioned a little bit earlier in this video, I do have a little announcement, and that is if you guys have been active on the channel, you will know that I was away from my setup for just about a week. I wasn't able to make new videos, so I scheduled some content for when I was gone. And yesterday, the time you're recording this, I did end up coming back, so I'm at my setup right now. I'm able to make new content. So that's so come. Today's video is a little bit later because I want to make this video day one of Modern Warfare Season 5. However, unfortunately, I wasn't home when Season 5 dropped, so that's so come. I'm making today's video a little bit later. However, nonetheless, I hope you guys went on to enjoy this one. I'm excited to be back to make new content. So yeah, that's effectively going to wrap up today's video. I've been your host, Deeper Jungle. I hope to see you in the next one.